two drunk assholes talking about whatever comes to mind. We present Filler with Jack Flake and Rob Harper. Filler is Jack and my insane rambling. In this filler, we discuss Game of Thrones and the worries we have now that George R. R. Martin isn't exactly writing the series. Please do note that we are extremely drunk during these recordings, so if we do sound like unintelligent fools, just forgive us. So you liking Game of Thrones? No. No? I think I think by sticking to the book and all the intrigue and well thought out long cons and, and games that now that they don't have the book to stick to and they know that they have to get to a certain point at a in a certain number of episodes. It's all too quick. They just lit the lit the fuse to on, on the rocket car. The monkey driven rocket car is just blasting across the sand flats right now. It, it it every episode is like is just balls to the wall, game chain what would have been a three episode arc of like, hey Ramsey, did you know that you're, you're okay, well but you're still my favorite son and Roos thinking, okay, I can't trust the psychopath, whatever. And what's going to happen now? It's just like, Oh, okay. The son's born stab, stab. Okay. Mother and son killed. Let's move on. Like it just, everything's just like, Hey, I'm on the bridge. Who are you? I'm your brother. You're supposed to be dead. Okay. Exposition, wow. exposition pitch. I like that because nothing ever happened there. At least something happened there. That yes. And I understand that was, that was in the books, apparently. Oh, is it? Basically the way it played out. You didn't know who it was for a long time. They made it seem like it was a faceless man who killed him. Hmm. But that's how it played out in the books. Yeah, they uh, should have made it more of a mystery. Because now it's just like, okay, we know that his brother killed him. Exposition, exposition, exposition. But it didn't have to happen. Like, Bruce Bolton and him. Like, two, two venerable... Like, it, it, was, it was like watching the same... It's it's way too fast. Tyrion, and, and some of the writing you can tell is not quite what it was. Yeah, it's not quite what it was. I'm I'm hoping, I'm yeah. hoping that they slow it down. Like I, I'm hoping that they thought, okay, we should have been here by now. Let's just fast forward a little bit. Yeah, we'll just a little bit, like Theon going, hey, you know, I'd I'd follow you to the ends of the earth. I saved you. Oh. Uh, Padra can't build a fire, and uh, the the knights, the girl knights, giving me the stink eye. Okay, I'm leaving. Like, just in one episode, like you'd think he, but there must be a point in the story he has to get back to. Yeah, they had to get him gone. Yeah, so he had to literally just be like, well, that's it. Like me watching yeah. uh, Kill Bill. Just <laughs> okay. See you later. Adios. Same with uh with um. Ari in the streets. It's like, I thought that was going to go through the whole, like, season. Her just getting beat down. And it was like, no, nope, second episode. Okay, you come with me. For it's the like, really? first five she seasons. She was beat twice. <laughs> for the first five seasons, you know it would have been every episode going, oh, God. Am I going to have to watch a blind orphan be beat again? Yep, here, here it is. Yep, okay, she's getting a little better. Oh, she's now, oh, yeah, she, she's she's progressed this thing and whatever you know you'd see something and then yeah i thought they were going to show her progression of blind fighting and actually blocking a few once in a while and but no she just got beat up twice and then she answered questions what the guy wanted to hear like yeah (laughs) yeah again just like you're right just fast forward that it it, it should have been probably wasn't earned like i i hadn't thought of about it in that way but i think that's the best way to phrase it i think that's and then bran being like 20 years old now and yeah (laughs) he's like hey okay well uh why'd you pull me away i was uh and the most interesting part of that section was the uh, little the like elf girl or whatever she was talking to the girl outside i was like that's cool no leaf yeah didn't go anywhere i was like okay and uh yeah and then, like, who didn't guess that was going to happen with Jon Snow? I was like, yeah, come on. You know what? At the end of it, it, it wasn't until I've now been in, in, induced to the the uh, internet. Like, Janet was like, oh, my God, yeah, he's back alive, back alive. And inside, I'm going, this is Game of Thrones. I bet you he's a White Walker. Or something, yeah. Like, I bet you it's not they, going to be. They didn't burn the body. I want 
next episode, him like, <gasps> and people are like, yay! And his eyes turn ice and cold yeah. blue, and his That's skin. True. And That's I, true. I, they do come back no matter in, what. In in my in my uh, well, imagine heart they did that. That'd be great. I was giddy with delight. I was like, yes, yes. I don't, Janet, I don't you're, the, you're the sap. You're the the token yeah. audience that this is how uh, this is how you write a twist. This is how you say, here's my dick. It's on the table. Jon Snow, White Walker. Yeah, but they wouldn't do I, that because the fans would riot. They, they and, care too much about the fans. Like the other seasons, they kill anyone. Now they can't kill Jon Snow. They can't kill Daenerys. They can't, you know, there's certain people. I but, do love when the hound smashed that guy's head against the wall. It was hilarious. The mountain? I, I yeah. Literally, or, yeah, was it the mountain? Yeah, that's what it was, yeah. And, I... I was like laughing my ass off because he just walks up and goes poop. <laughs> I was like, ah. the whole like, I I wonder like, does the mountain just have like a, a spidey sense on who's? I know, I know, because there was no was... reason. I was expecting him to have someone like see him in the background or something. Someone report back, but no, he just psychically knew that that guy was shit talking his girl. But in my in my head, I I mentally framed a shot where it panned <laughs> over and the mountain. Was sitting there with a, like a drink, just hunched over and silent, and he's, his head's just turning, and he's just listening, getting madder and madder. Like in my head, that's how it's playing out. I know he's a zombie; he doesn't need a drink, but this uh, is how I thought. It was. And then he just follows him out, and this guy drunkenly staggering down the street doesn't realize that there's a there's, there's a guy following him. There's this behemoth following him. Like it, it, it was done for the sake of comedy to a degree, but also to show like. They didn't show it to show that he's a badass. I don't think it was for the sake of comedy. I just found it hilarious. Everyone knows he's a badass. We've watched him he hack. He was badass prisoners. before he was undead. Yeah, we've watched him hack prisoners up for for uh, practice before a fight. We've watched him do terrible, unspeakable things. We've heard him do unterrible, speakable things. They didn't need to show him kill a peasant in that just smash his face against oh, the man, it was It was hilarious, though. <laughs> oh, and that's yeah. another thing. They killed that Dorn King too. They've just killed all the kings. They, they are like cleaning slate. They're like, okay, we got to get rid of all these people. And and yeah, at some point, it's like, okay, well, that guy in the books, we should have addressed this. Okay, we need to get Ramsey here. We need to get this set up here. Like, and when when the when the uh, daughter, the Greyjoy daughter, goes, well, you know, now that I'm running the Iron Islands. And some nobody, some that, dipshit yeah. nobody turns and goes, well, that's not how it works. And it's like, well, you, so that should have been addressed earlier. Yeah. Like, yeah. In the old old Game of Thrones, that would have been laid out in a, in a clever way. Yeah. Possibly her trying to maneuver, uh, you know, uh, around it or like the contingency is. Some For some reason, she didn't know how it works, how politics in her own country works. Yeah, she, yeah. she was dumbfounded by like, what? And the other thing is, they don't they don't take shit the Iron uh, Ironborn like that. Mm-hmm. At no point if she, she anything that I've seen so far, no Ironborn has ever went. But well, well, that's the rules. No, so you pay the Iron Price. She would just kill that guy and then be like, no, it works that way now. Maybe she, you want to come against me, and then she brings all her reavers over and she just that, takes it. That's exactly like. Well, that's not how that works. Your father. Oh, my father would have wanted that. Yeah, well, uh, there's going to be a voting. Oh, is there? Stab, stab, stab. Because they're setting it up right now to be like a civil war between her uncle and her. And it's like, really? Why? Like, I hope her uncle just comes in and takes over and then she just, like, follows what he does. He seems like he's just another Ramsey, like, just some insane dude. I hope he's not that, but it's just a weird character to introduce. And I know he's in the books, and I know it's a... But... Well, I'm sure he was also introduced in like the second book. Like, <laughs> they just yeah. didn't bother until now. I, it's it's just I'm hoping that they just need to. to uh, maybe they said the first three episodes we really need to gain some ground. We need what to it, get, you know, like we need to get to a point and we need to do it fast. Well, I it's, think it is. Is what it is. Is they're really lazy writers and they've been just using his books. And it was easy. And now all they have is this outlines. So now they're just using the outlines. And the outlines were like, Ramsey kills his father. So they wrote it, Ramsey kills his father. Not like, meanwhile, George R. R. Martin meant over like, you know, chapters and years. And 
you know. Yeah, yeah. Not they're like using the actual point form, and then that's why it seems so fast because it's not written. So they're just point forming it out, and it's just super quick. Like I've never seen. I don't remember. The only other time I. Ramsey hugged his father once before when he wasn't a bastard. Yeah. And at the time, I'm like, okay, that's... That's... Because his character arc was that he was so in love with Roos Bolton, his dad. That's all he did. And I thought, okay. And I I thought Roos wasn't a hugging type, so it was kind of like, what did I get myself into? Like, it was a very good character moment where Ramsey lost control of himself for a second showed real emotion was genuinely and Roos was like okay I guess so you know very well done at the time as soon as Ramsey started hugging Roos I said one of them's dead <laughs> either it's Roos going okay I have an heir Ramsey's dead or Ramsey going oh well now I have to take care of I have to become the lord before there's a I'm usurped Roos is dead like I knew it and it was just like oh Okay, the old hug, and they didn't even show that the guy there was on Ramsey's side. They should have been. They should have had that all set up where that. So that's why the guy didn't. Uh, the other house leader didn't go against Ramsey. Do you think he'd be like, "Oh shit, you just killed," you know? Yeah, and, and again, three seasons ago, Ramsey would have been meeting with a couple of these people. Mm-hmm. Listen, my dad doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to go against them. What, what do you guys think? Well. That guy killed my dad, so I'm 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 with you. This is what has to go. Roos yeah. is getting old. He's a little, he's he's a lord now. He's getting a little soft. His plan was this, and now he's starting to get a little too comfortable. And well, then that Meister was this, yeah, yeah. And then uh, some dialogue. Oh, I wonder if one of those guys in the room is going to go back to Roos because Roos isn't stupid. He's going to have people on the inside. Yeah, maybe someone does. Maybe someone doesn't. There's going to be a there's going to be a twist at some. Or Ramsey catches the guy right before he gets to Roos and finishes him off so he doesn't get to tell him and yeah or something like that or he goes to tell Roos and uh yeah Ramsey told me uh, you were gonna say that um and that's obviously you know so- something like because Roos was supposed to be very clever very yeah no, yeah. Just... no he hugs like as soon as they went in together I said one of them's dead yeah it was just stupid either they're gonna go for the easy uh they're gonna go for the easy one that's like okay yeah I guess you know just getting rid of a character or the oh okay yeah the badass that we thought was a real like a psychopath crazy person was still under this control of someone who's really not outwardly like crazy like Roos mm-hmm. could have been like if Roos had just ended him right there it would have cemented him as like the real real badass like yeah smart anyone, anyone like the can only like smart guy in the whole room you know like yeah everybody else is stupid like every other <laughs> leader is an idiot Roos would be the smart one, right? But no, he's an idiot too. Yeah. They just, just and then have that guy that was there go, okay, uh Roos Roos tell him, okay, now take care of the body. Yeah. Yeah, it was just dumb. And yeah, every single leader is an idiot in, in Game of Thrones. Is there one leader that didn't get killed or or shamed or is just ineffectual? <laughs> that's that's the thing I Where's Littlefinger, by the way? Yeah, that, that that's he, unfortunately his ca- whole character was based on subterfuge and obfuscation and subtlety, and I they have don't more think subtlety in the show. They don't have the time for that right now. Yeah, they'll have to, uh, unfortunately whatever he's up to in the books and whatever is his end game is he's gonna he's gonna sprint into a chamber. <laughs> blather on about what he's been up to and why and how and why where we are right now is this is the status of that situation and then he'll then he'll he'll bow gracefully and go carry on and then everyone goes oh okay well that's what he's been up to uh that's where he is now and his plan will come to fruition like that i I can't can't only imagine because yeah and that whole thing with the dragons was just like what Every other time someone, anyone went near the dragon, I thought he was going to send the the black chick in because the dragons knew her. And that's what his whole plan was. Well, at least they know her and they've never hurt her. I'll send her in. And Sidney goes in himself. It's like, the dragons don't know you. Why would they, all of a sudden the dragons are super intelligent and know, like they've never shown that before. And that's the thing. Like, 
I got, he's been a Dragon fanboy since the beginning, and that was established. And I thought, oh, this is how someone Tyrion is extremely, extremely smart, always has been. And I, I thought they're showing like a, a weakness that like could be exploited or something, and him going down there. And if he had done that with Dragon, he'd have been dead. Yeah. Those two seem much tamer than the other one. The other one was... But even then, they were pissed when they were first tied up. They were trying to bite people. and Didn't they flame yeah. the guy? So, like, he gambled, and us knowing if Dragon had been down there, he'd have been dead. And just generally, he should have been dead. Like, I can't... Like, <laughs> so I thought they were going to send... What's, their mo- what's the black chick's name? Yeah, Misandry. Yeah, because they the, he asked her, "Oh, they know you, and they've never hurt you." So I was like, "Okay, they're just gonna send her because they and and then worm worm tongue or no, what's it saying? Gray worm. Gray worm would be all pissed because he, he's sending his his girl into danger and then causing tension. He just sit, sat there, didn't say a word, <laughs> didn't do anything. They did. They were like nothing in that whole storyline. For some reason, these two newbies took over the whole world, took over the whole city. It's, it's strange. Yeah. <laughs> And at the end, like, so, okay, so Tyrion does let the dragons out. I don't like the way, how it played out. Uh, but in my way, if I was writing it, he would have went down there, the dragons would have started menacing him. The clasp to the thing would have been way far away from them. He would so have... Could, yeah, do it and then run. <laughs> That's the thing. He would have been all ballsy, like, oh, I start telling his story about how, oh, I always wanted a dragon. Like, fill, fulfill that thing, because he's always been a dragon fanboy, even from season one. Yeah. And then at the point, like like the Matt Murdock moment when he mentions Vanessa to the Kingpin. Yeah. Where the tone changes, because you know, oh, fuck, I thought I was, you know, I thought I was in control. I thought this is badass. I wanted, I'm the one who instigated this whole situation. And I am not in control. I am not the badass in the situation. And he's going to finish the situation. I thought for sure that at some point he'd be like, ah, and he'd scamper out. And he didn't like, like to yeah, the moment, he, the moment he like let the, uh, let the chains loose, the both the dragons turn on him, like look at him. He's like, ah. yeah, start rearing and something and, and yeah. do that thing with the fire, like, and him just go, uh, 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 uh and drop, show some fear and scamper out. Yeah. And the dragons now knowing, oh well, I don't. We don't need to roast him. We're free. We can just head the other way and be gone. Yeah. And kind you don't know to themselves whether, like, that they made the little guy run. <laughs> Look at him. He pissed himself. But then, but then him to say, if I ever had a deal like that again, punch me in the face. I'm like, yeah, that was very weird writing. That was so out of character. That what that wasn't something that was. It was so out of the the, the world almost like. No one in the world's ever said anything that, like, just... Colloquial. Yeah. yeah. So for him to say it, and then for anyone to say it, but for him to say it, and then to... to he should have said something like, well, that worked better than I thought it would, or something, you know, like... Yeah, or have Varys say something, because he's... Like, have... Uh, like, him run back and look, the look of fear on his face, like... And Varys go, oh, so uh, now you can add Taming Dragons to your resume or some, something yeah. so snide, so snarky that it is Varys. But Tyrion's not going to say anything because he's, you know, just voided himself in his pants. Yeah. No, it, it didn't. It, that scene didn't work for me. The other scene that really didn't work for me is when, uh, when's the other guy, um, uh, you know, the guy who's got stone skin and then the other leader of the thousand sons or whatever yeah yeah they're out looking for him and oh there's a big blast area okay so that's where or the, we're not blast area but where all the feet were trampled down he just looks down picks out of the grass a teeny little ring i'm like do you know how hard it is even in that little area to find a ring like to even notice a ring was there i i was just like whoa that's that's so coincidental when when she dropped it and i said i i knew exactly what was going to happen i could have i was like i hope that doesn't happen it, it, again subvert some expectations every once in a while. Imagine if he would have walked in there and went, yeah, this is, they must have grabbed her. I bet you they went that way. And you just see the, the ring in the grass and his foot come down on top of it, compress it, as he's like, okay, that, I think we've got to head this way. She did something stupid and the, they can still find her. He got rewarded, yeah. It's like, but don't reward. Or, yeah. Or, dumb. and at the end, her go, oh, you must have found my ring. Then I didn't find your ring. Well, no, we followed the horse tracks. 
Yeah. He's a hunter. We saw the dragon. We saw dragons eating things around there. We found this huge horse thing. We assumed that you were this way. I, I've been a I've been a traveling warrior. I, this is my first rodeo. He's been a mercenary. Uh, we both traveled. You know, you don't you don't survive this long by not being able to go. Oh, look! This is where dragons. This is where Dragon is, and I, a Kalazar of horsemen pass through here. They might have found you. Like it, it, it's not a huge leap. And then her go. Oh well, you know, I dropped my ring. <laughs> Yeah, but it, he because he, he just goes, oh, this is where it happened. Looks down. Oh, there it is. Picks it up. Yeah, Again, fa- like, just fast forward it. Someone said he has to find the ring. So he went, oh, I've found the ring. Yeah, it's just, it'd be even better. Like this. they were in a town and someone is hawking the ring or something. They had found it in the, you know, where'd you find this? And then they tell him where he found it. And then, that, you know, more detective work instead of just coincidentally finding this ring. Or... or he, or they find it either way, but she's th- at some point she's like, I dropped my ring or whatever, and the, the, someone's gonna rescue me. And then they go, Oh, this one right here, yeah, the more skyscraper, uh, yeah, yeah, we, 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 we saw you drop it. Uh, this is worth money, and we, we took it, yeah, no, it's just, yeah, you remember when we all dismounted and we put you in the chains that you're in, and we, you know, decided that what we were gonna do with you. Yeah, one of us looked down, saw uh, what looks like two pearls wrapped in gold, and went, mm, "Yeah, I can buy a couple horses with this." Yeah, it was. And her go, "Oh, yeah." I don't know. It's just so different writing for sure. Yeah, I, I, like, I still like. I think it's still good, but it's just not the same quality. <laughs> it it went from great to good. Yeah, exactly. It's just too, like you say, too fast. It's every like this. This should have been some of those things should have been the season mid season cliffhanger, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. After building up Bruce and Ramsey starting to go head to head with uh, Strange Brother and Greyjoy comes to town, uh, and, and and the two of them start uh, you know like sparring a little bit, and I do hope you're right about John being a White Walker and they just have to kill him and that's it. <laughs> That'd be the best. <laughs> All those oh, people were like so happy. I would be I hope laughing my ass off. I, I, I hope that he's the one who uh, lets the White Walkers across the wall. Yeah. He I actually hope he becomes the snow. Yeah. But imagine Jon Snow, the White Walker, with a dire wolf and him just like lowering that elevator thing. And then you yeah. just see all these White Walkers coming. But but again, that would they be won't a do that. thing. They'll that never do that. Be. They will never ever do that because him they standing are... on the wall just watching that elevator go down and White Walkers coming. Out of the out of the woods, they don't have the balls to do that. Oh, <laughs> they don't like they don't they. All these people would be like, "No, oh, you killed." They look at all the people who flipped out when they killed them. Like, oh, I would. I there would be so much jizz. Just I, I I would be I would coat the walls if 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 that if they did that. But that's how I would write it. Because just looking over at Janet's face and she's like, "Oh," and she yeah. clapped. She literally clapped. Yeah. In my head, before I read the inter- like the internet and and everyone saying, "Oh, that's the way it has to be," anyways, you know, blah blah blah. But at the time, I'm thinking, "Oh God, no, 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 no! He's a White Walker for sure." You, yeah, that's You're, the first thing you thought. That's funny. That's the first thing I thought. Like, oh, because wouldn't that be just awesome? It would be hilarious, but they'll never do it. Everyone just like, "Yay, he's back alive!" And then his eyes just turn that bright blue, yeah. and him just sit up, and he just sneaks out of the out of the town. And then, because everyone left him there, eventually they come yeah. back. Where's his body? I don't know. The Red Witch, Melisandre fails again. Blah, blah, blah. Some they might, some someone got his body, and then next thing you know, he's on. Hey, is very last thing of the season. All the they they get confronted by the uh, White Walkers, and Jon Snow's at the front of them. Or, the, or all of a sudden, hey, uh, you know the Wildlings and them are all. Hey, why, why is the elevator going down? Who's doing that? And it's, <laughs> it's him there with the dire wolf, and now he's got some of the some of the white walkery looking skin going on. Just a little bit though, like just a little bit of the makeup, a little prosthetic work. What the hell? And then you just hear horns or something, some drums. You know what they might do is they might make him a white walker, and then Melisandre cures him or something, right? And that's so they could be like, "Oh, we can cure the white walkers now." That'd be annoying. <laughs> that would be bullshit. I know. I hope that's 
I hope you're right, though, but I don't think... I think it's just going to be John's alive. Yeah, yeah. Now that I've read and everyone's like, yeah, obviously that's got to be the way it is. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's the way it's got to be. Can't be having fun. And it wouldn't be if uh, George R. R. Martin wrote it, like, unless, you know, I don't know how what is how the books ended, how the, how far they got, or what with him getting stabbed. I don't know if that was in the books or not, but uh, yeah, he he kills anyone. Nobody's safe. Not not even Jon Snow. You know what scenes I didn't like. I I can understand why uh, Sir Davos is is so invested in Jon Snow. Like he he literally saw he was working with someone he idolized, but also knew he was doing stupid things in Stannis. Like, he was like, okay, you know, I promised. Yeah. But he also met Jon Snow and was like, no, this is this is who Stannis could be. Like, this is a real leader. And when Stannis says, okay, go, you're my hand, and I've got to, and he's like, oh, Jesus Christ, you're you're an idiot. But he, he can't because he, he vowed to, you know, he was yeah. beholden to him. But, and when Jon Snow's dead, he's thinking, oh, well, fuck, the only guy that I saw that what's really doing what should be done. I got to do the best I can. But for him to then say Melisandre and, and not just be like, Hey bitch, bring this guy back. I swear to Christ. I, he was I know a too were, nice to her. Yeah. I know Stannis would not be the position. We could have actually succeeded. It would have taken a couple more years, but we could have built an army. We could have done this without all your bullshit. So you got to make it right by me or I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. Like that's the way it should have played out. He was way too nice to her for way how much he hated her. Although he's a great actor. That guy's great. Yeah, yeah. But I understand he doesn't know how Shireen died. And I understand he doesn't know exactly how, you know, he probably in his mind went, okay, Stannis marched on the keep. It was probably a siege, probably lasted, you know, a couple days. But, you know, the, the, the weather was against him. The food, the, the supplies were all against him. He was an idiot. He shouldn't have done it. But, you know. He rolled the dice and lost. He died. Mm-hmm. Him and his family were probably killed when, you know, during the battle. Eh. But that still doesn't mean he'd be like, okay, Melisandre, we're pals now. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. We'll see how it goes, but... Yep. Well... Well, there you go. Let's hope this series picks itself up, and this is just an anomaly. See you next time.